So the Dark Horse Mustang comes with super grippy Pirelli tires. We got a long history with Pirelli and uh, I've driven them on many cars and the Dark Horse, on track, unbelievable. I can't believe how good this tire is. just got out of the car. The Pirelli tires are absolutely amazing. Turn in is so accurate. It's just super grippy. The car did everything they kind of described to us as far as being able to handle the heat out there, the loading and the banking. The tire never gave up. Very accurate under braking, under throttle, under acceleration, and of course all important that initial turn in. The tire just felt very, very accurate. So Tell us a little bit about the tire and tell us what you do at Pirelli. So it's, it's very nice that you actually enjoy that that much. So, uh, My name is Davide Conti, I'm the R&D director for Pirelli Tire North America. And I'm honestly very, very proud here to talk you through the new Trophy RS. So the new Trophy RS is the, let's say, the evolution of the old Trophy R. Uh, but it's a big step up in performance on, let's say, every point of view. Uh, it took quite a bit of, uh, of development and energy and resources to get to the performance that we you had the opportunity to, ch uh, to, to try to test today and uh, mainly we had reviewed the, pro uh, the product from, uh, from all point of view from the materials that we have inside the tire the compounds the production processes that allow us a complete new approach on the, on the tread construction and the distribution of the compounds that we have inside the tire and then at the end, in order to push forward the, um, the trades off between the dry, the wet, the wear, the, the grip and the rolling resistance and the stiffness of the tire, we did a lot of uh, simulations in order to design properly the mold and position correctly the, um, the grooves and, the, and the, let's say the profile and the, and the shape of the grooves. So starting from the materials, we have uh, a new material package that which is derivative from the motorsports so it's a let's say a lighter version of, of what we have on, on our motorsports products that ensure the correct rigidity to the to the tire guaranteeing that that cornering stiffness that you felt just at the entrance of the, the, the corners uh, from the compound uh, point of view uh, we mentioned earlier that we have a multi we use a multi compound strategy so we have more than one compound, actually a couple of more than one compound, where, that are distributed in, um, in a very specific way in order to, to find the perfect balance between the grip, the, um, uh, the stiffness, and, and then uh, to guarantee the uh, proper wear of the tire and actually enhance the wear of, uh, uh, of the tire. So with respect to the Trophy R, uh, R well, you're going to have a lot more time on the track thanks, uh, thanks to this. And then the compounds itself, we, uh, we were able to design completely from scratch the compounds thanks to a new, uh, a new mixing processes that we have now that allow us to, again, to obtain better properties on, on the compounds itself. Again, guaranteeing a, a, the perfect trade-off between the wet, the wear, and the, the overall stiffnesses. The production process that allowed the, let's say, the, the multi-compound strategy is a, is a direct spin-off of the Formula One process. So this, that allows us to not have any type of joints on the tread of the tire while building, so guaranteeing the integrity of the tire at high speeds and uh, uh, giving a better uniformity of the tire so you, sh you will never feel any type of noise or vibrations coming from, uh, from the tire itself. On top, uh, it's not typically the first thing that you that you look at or on uh, on a tire that is uh, let's say track oriented, but the noise we were able to reduce by 7 dBs the um, the, the let's say the noise emissions of the tread thanks to uh, specific analysis of um, of the different bearings of the mold uh, mold and the tread pattern that we that we were uh, studying. And then finally, the, the mold so that gives, the, let's say, the final shape to the tire itself. We, um, we work quite a bit in a, in a virtual environment that is uh, designed by Pradley, so it's a, um, 
that has been developed in the years and now it allowed us to evaluate more than 50 different concepts of the mold and then narrow it down to a second step to just down to 10 molds where you, we use even more sophisticated simulations, uh, simulation packages in order to obtain what is the, um, the f to simulate the footprint that we wanted in the different transients of the, of the corners. Uh, evaluate the proper stiffnesses that, uh, that we wanted and then simulate also the hydro planning. So in this way we could balance properly the, um, the let's say, the, the dimensions again of the grooves and, uh, and the shape also of the transferal grooves that help to exhaust the water, which again, it's not the first thing that you, you expect on a track tire, but definitely will happen to, to either finish races on the, on the wet or, uh, or or also hit the road when uh, when, uh, when 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 heading home from the, from the track. So this was uh, definitely one important feature. Um, talking about a couple of numbers on wet and dry braking, we were able to bring it up uh, to, to 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 enhance the performance five and seven percent, which is uh, quite a bit when uh, when you get uh, when 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 you get down to the limit. And, uh, and again, all the steering characteristics which you spoke about earlier are definitely a step up with respect to the, um, to the, previous, uh, to the previous product. Could you talk to us real quick about tire size? Does Ford dictate the size or is that something yes, that you want to Yes, this was a request. Uh, this was, uh, was a request from Ford. So we have a 305 30 19 on the front and a 315 30 19 on the rear. Oh, that's fantastic. So there you have it, a lesson on tires from the guys at Pirelli and girls. They've got both here. Great tire. This tire, you could definitely feel a difference between the base dark horse. Definitely. Um, which I could feel that tire giving up out in the heat and in the banking. This tire though, no matter what I did, and I tried to put the car in the right place at the right point in time, but ultimate grip, so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. For the base, we have the, um, the P0, which is um, a balanced performance. And clearly, you will uh, you will uh, appreciate definitely more the the ride and the steering on on the public roads this afternoon. Yeah, and anybody who's serious about a track day car is going to want an R compound tire or a real performance tire for you know on track uh, driving. But the other tire did do well, but this one's just a lot better. <laughs>